Hey, it's Joe at Red's Fly Shop here. We're talking streamer rods today. Oftentimes, big trout eat big flies, and we need the right rod to cast a great big fly like that on a sink tip line. So the same rod you're using to nymph fish or throw your little dry flies and delicately feed line amend isn't always the best choice. If you aspire to be or you are a streamer fisherman, get a streamer specific rod. I'm reviewing uh, the Winston Alpha Plus today. They make this from a five to a 12 weight and it's designed specifically for throwing large flies and large sink tips. Now, why do you need a different rod for this? One, we need an extremely good mid and butt section to get down and launch that big heavy tip and throw that fly out there and that sink tip out there with maybe one false cast and get complete recovery. Maybe we're blind casting and we need to cast out, strip in, cast out, strip in. Or maybe we have a, a tarpon cruise by and we need to get that fly to that fish like now or Jack Craval or something else in saltwater. For me, we were trout fishing today and I'm throwing a big golly llama and I'm going to throw that fly out there and I don't want to have to throw a bunch of false casts to build momentum. I want this rod to be flexible enough that I can make a good shot with a minimal number of false casts. The Alpha Plus is designed specifically to do that. If you're a Winston fan looking for a streamer rod, I believe you'll be extremely happy with this rod. Big difference between this and say uh, like the Air Salt, if you're a saltwater guy, is the Air Salt is for more distance with smaller flies and accuracy. It's going to be a, a more of a tip flex rod. This is really for blasting. It's a pleasant rod to blast big flies and heavy tips at. It's easy on your elbow. It's easy. I can see myself blind casting this thing all day without complaint. So I'm going to step back and I'm going to show you just how quick a good streamer rod is going to recover a sink tip in a stream. Okay, so I've stripped my streamer in. I'm going to take my first step is going to be to set the line in the direction I want to go. And I shot all that line out there just like that. In fact, there was no false cast. Let me do that one more time. Okay. The first step is I'm going to take and I'm going to set my streamer and my sink tip down the angle I want to go. And I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to launch it all in one cast. When you have a rod, when you have a rod that will load deep with a short amount of line and rebound well, you can do things like that. You can be very quick, whether you're from a moving drift boat for trout or you're on a flats boat moving and you have fish either cruising by or you're hitting the mangroves on the move, one or the other. Less false cast, more time in the water with that big streamer. It's more fish for you.